This is Stacy Jackson, and thank you for tuning in today to Stacy Jackson in the 80s. I'm super excited about today's episode because today I'm going to be playing some of the best hits from one of the most poignant TV series of the 1980s. It's Miami Vice, the American TV show that stars the effortlessly cool Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas as the incredibly fashionable Sonny Crockett and Ricardo Tubbs, two drug-busting cops working in sunny Florida. The show was so impactful during the 80s that guys wanted to be them and girls, well, they wanted to date them. And they were the coolest, suavest partners of any 80s TV show that went so global that they even started an enormous male fashion trend of t-shirts with the unstructured sport jacket and was one of the first TV shows to specifically target the generation of MTV viewers. So the music had to be super hot and the shots had to be super quick and it needed to look slick and glossy amidst all the drugs and sex and violence, which was actually considered extremely edgy for the 1980s. Miami Vice was so cool that even people who haven't seen one episode were affected by it one way or another. Its very evocative theme song became the hottest pop song at the time of release. The extended version of the Miami Vice theme, written and performed by keyboard wizard Jan Hammer, went to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in November 1985. Hammer actually never made it into the pop charts again, but his comp Position is still one of the only five TV theme songs to ever sit in the top 40. 